Hello TI99 friends. Uh, my name is Klaus Lukaschek and I want to show you a um, complete set of all American cartridges that were released um, in the classic label format, which is uh, which I'm showing right now. Uh, so they were released in a black shell and had um, a label in which uh, it's usually called as classic label style. So it's basically has back background and uh, orange to red to yellowish uh, color, depending on uh, which uh, uh, production unit you, you had or label run. Um, so we are not talking about cartridges like these. Uh, these are known as other cartridges. I don't have a complete set of them yet. Uh, we will concentrate on the on the classic one uh, and the one that were used uh, released in the in the Amer uh, in America. Um, so the the, the first uh, one is uh, the diagnostic cartridge, uh, which was used as as far as we know even uh, during um, production and uh, to test the uh, hardware of a motherboard and even peripherals. And even, I think, during the development of uh, the home computer, uh, it was probably uh, created by some developer. Next one is a demonstration cartridge. It was um, um, released mostly for the stores uh, that uh, sold the TI-99 and shows basically in an interactive um, animation uh, with sound and music what the TE is capable of and what you can do with it. Uh, next are uh, is early learning fun. Uh, I've got several. Um, whenever I see some variation in uh, the, the size of the used font, the size of the font, the used font, the text that shows there, then I'm trying to keep one, one copy of uh, each variation. Um, yeah, so that's early learning fun, um, cartridge basically for young kids, um, similar beginning grammar. So there are a lot of educational titles released for the TI-99. Um, Number Magic is one I actually had as a kid. Um, in, um, I used the German version, which is called Rechenkünstler. And uh, yeah, there's a nice rabbit that jumps from left to the right whenever you um, had a right answer on some mathematical, uh, normally easy question. Videographs is something uh, you would uh, think of one of the first uh, draw programs. Um, home financial decisions. Yeah, those are now the business cartridges. There is also another one matching for uh, the household budget management. Uh, usually those are now misused um, to just get the shell out of it and uh, um, yeah, place some homebrew software that is nowadays created into it uh, to have a nice shell for it. Video Chess, uh, one of the best chess programs back in the days. Um, it's also called Schachmeister in German. Football. So this is the American football and not the soccer, as uh, in Europe we would say. Um, so this is really American football. I never got the, the rules of that sports uh, game yet. Uh, I might try it again uh, next time I'm in the US. Physical fitness. Um, so this is um, one of the first uh, digital fitness trainers where you can see uh, 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 animated a uh, person that imitates the the directions or the 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 bewegungen or how to call, how to say uh, I am I don't have the word so basically the, the sports training unit that you would have to do in order to perform uh, and engage in some um, gymnastic or training. So, some more physical fitness. Um, again, we have a speech editor. So this, this unit was basically the counterpart to when you had the speech um, synthesizer. And 
mainly it was uh, capable of uh, whatever vocabulary was inside your speech synthesizer. Uh, remember, originally they wanted to release uh, additional modules um, for the speech synthesizer. So with that, you would have uh, the capability of using all those and made your system speak. Um, not really useful since you can also do that in uh, extended basic afterwards or uh, yeah, or from assembler. Securities, analysis, uh, not much to say about that. Personal record keeping, um, yeah, very famous one. Uh, so this is uh, where you can have, uh, basically you need a tape recorder or a disk unit in order to use that properly. Um, it contains some uh, nice menu and you can store records of your household items, your whatever you want to, to make lists up on. And then uh, make statistics sum up uh, based on it or whatever, like print it out or uh, keep a, a version of it. Statistics, yeah, not much to say. I hardly used that because I didn't have it back in the days and now I don't... I don't really need that. Uh, early reading. So this is one of the Scott Foreman's cards. As you can see, there are like two variations. I, I will try to... Uh, now it's nicely. So you can see that the text below the title is one time a bit different than the other time. Text investment record keeping. So this is only valid for America, I think, because of the, the text laws that are like used in there. Um, Terminal Emulator 1, this is one of the, I think the rarest cartridge even uh, beyond in, in that collection in that uh, of these classic label ones because uh, it was so fast replaced by Terminal Emulator 2 and basically Terminal Emulator 2 had all the features of whatever the Terminal Emulator 1 had plus addition. Um, some features and that's why basically nobody was interested in keeping the the one for itself or getting the one um since you already got the the two for the same price or even or even cheaper um here is another thermal emulator one i got recently uh video games one also i had that title i really love the pimple in there it contains three games actually uh, disk manager. This was, I think, only um, bundled together with the sidecar uh, disk controller uh, and not uh, released as a dedicated uh, cartridge. So there is also no manual uh, besides the hardware manual uh, for it, which is in a in a different size than the usual mini manual for the cartridges. Music maker, very famous one. Uh, weight control and nutrition, so based on whatever we thought back then, uh, is good uh, to uh, to eat and to drink uh, for our body to keep to keep the weight or to lo lose weight um, and to keep control of it. This is the cartridge for for this purpose. Personal real estate. Uh, honestly, I think I never tried that uh, for any purpose. Hunt the Wumpus, one of my favorite games on the TI. Uh, and we're already at the end of the second box. Let me quickly switch and get the next one out. So, some more Hunt the Wumpus variations. Uh, indoor soccer, so this is now the European soccer, uh, we call it also football in Europe. Um, Mind Challengers, also released as Video Games 2 in Europe. TI Extended Basic, the very famous one. Um, I think I only have the, uh, the, the fixed release, so not the version 1.0. That was quickly replaced uh, with some bug fixes. Um, some nice titles now coming. Edition and Subtraction number one and Edition and Subtraction number two. Those use the speech synthesizer if you have it attached. And um, I think really show nicely to kids uh, how to 
uh, how to deal with addition and subtraction and uh, having some number lines um, and visualizing that really nicely. Uh, multiplication 1, another uh, Scott Informants title. Amazing, this is, uh, I think, a cat and mouse game with a labyrinth uh, you have to get through. The Attack, Blasto, Milton Bradley titles, both of them. Um, Blackjack and Poker, this is a TI title again. Again, we had that back in the days on our computer. Hustle, another Milton Bradley card. Um, now we come to Terminal Emulator 2 and so this is what was released very very soon after the Terminal Emulator 1 so as you see the product number is already 3035 really really low still uh, thinking about the age of most uh, so it has the copyright 1980 and there is also a variation with a numerical Two instead of the uh, the Greek, no, is it Greek? Ram Romanian two, um, which has another copyright. So this is also nice. If you are collecting cartridges, you should try to find a copy of each, since they are like a nice variation. So this was box number three. Let's try to get another one. I tried to look a lo long time for boxes that really fit those cartridges from that size nicely. Uh, and this is what I got. Now it's uh, out of production, it seems. So, nevertheless, I, even in the end, now I have no complete uh, box set for all the cartridges I've got. Zero Zap, Milton Bradley cartridge title. A uh, bit similar, uh, like. Uh, like a flipper or a, this laser games where you, the modern laser games where you try to nail down with some preparations of mirrors all the lights. Uh, Hankman, Hankman title, very um, famous Milton Bradley title, now coming Connect 4. Uh, Yatsi, one of my favorite cards, uh, also favorite games uh, to play. Um, TI logo, next programming language that TI released was TI logo for the TI. Uh, there is also a TI logo too. And they even uh, prepared the release of um, different languages for TI logo. So not only the English version, which you see here, but um, German version, a French version, a Dutch version, and an Italian version, if I'm right. Adventure. Um, this is basically Scott Adams' uh, text adventure module, which you need uh, to then load a certain game from tape or from disc, depending on your setup and what um, set, uh, bundle you got. There, are, there is a rare variation of the adventure cartridge that you see here. I'll try to which has the different copyright, so it doesn't have the TI copyright, but Adventure International Incorporated. Uh, I didn't see a lot of these uh, when trying to collect all of them. Good, next one is Tunnels of Doom, another graphical adventure, you could say. Reading Fun, one of, I think, the first reading cartridge now in the list so far, also from Scott Formans. They released mostly educational titles or educational game titles. Personal report, gener re report generator. Um, so this was probably a counterpart for personal record keeping to then uh, create reports, rep re reports based on whatever you uh, have as records. Uh, reading Roundup, more reading titles, reading Rally. Now we get to div Division 1. Uh, one of the first mathematical titles, Tombstone City. Uh, my brother loves this game. <laughs> TI Invaders, yeah, the TI variation of variant of Space Invaders. Um, really nicely done and very colorful. And 
there is also um, 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 a disc release of this, and there is basically uh, some cartridges contain the included sheet. Uh, so if you hit uh, Shift Eight Three Eight, uh, then you have like uh, the hidden setup, uh, and then you can have a, a level menu and can enter level twenty or so immediately. So what else do we have? Cowboys is one of us. one of the first cartridges, or even the fir the first with video games one I got at Christmas as a kid, and I loved it. Of course, first I needed to understand what to do, and uh, I fall in love with it. But we never back in the days we never reached uh, beyond level two or so I think, um, or level three. Uh, nowadays, I can even run to level five or level six, where you have then three enemy cars in addition to your player car uh, that try to hit you. Editor assembler, nothing much to say. Basically, the the most important module back in the days to um, do some assembly programming. Um, it requires 32k, and uh, nowadays. Usually the the programmers prefer some other um, version to of an editor or um, assembling program. Munchman, basically Pac-Man in TI uh, shoes. What else do we have here? Munchman was released, as you can see on the label. Once it shows as command module, and once it shows as solid state cartridge. Then we got mini memory. Mini memory is not a memory game, which I originally thought as a kid, but actually contains uh, 4K of RAM um, on the cartridge. So it gives the user uh, basically uh, memory to use, to store programs, to um, execute programs from um, and to basically do something with an unexpanded TI otherwise and even do assembler programming because originally the TI only has 256 bytes of CPU RAM. Uh, the next one seems to also be from the American school system so it seems to be some scholastic spelling level 3, level 4, level 5 and there is level 6 um, there is no level 2 and level 1 released, for the TI at least. Probably there is some school level like that, but there is no card to you need to find to. Uh, the next one is Touch Typing Tutor, so it tries to uh, learn you the 10 finger system for a typewriter or a, a computer a keyboard. Um, yeah, then we have Otello, which is a, a nice strategy game which also was released as a board game and I think very very old as a as a game itself. Reading Flight, uh, another reading cartridge. Then there was a, a number of computer math games uh, planned, I think from 1 to 6. And here you can see the number 2 and the number 6. Um, there is also a number 3, but that is not that was not not released on um, for a for a classic label, so that's why it's not in this set. Um, it's then in the in the other in the green modern label set. Disc Manager Two, again, this cartridge was not released as sub, as a cartridge itself, but was bundled uh, together with the disc controller for the PEP, so for the peripheral expansion box. And um, I think the feature it can do, besides all the features the Disk Manager 1 can do, that it can uh, have the uh, the double density. Uh, it can format and read double density disks. There's also a Disk Manager 3. Uh, at least it was uh, developed. Uh, and there are some prototypes uh, of Disk Manager 3. Uh, that then uh, included all the features for the Hexbus uh, disk controller that is also didn't reach um, a release or never saw a release beyond prototypes that came from the labs. 
Then we have addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So all the four basic uh, uh, calculations or um, types of operators, uh, all from the same company. Um, yeah, nothing much to say about these. Then we are already five boxes. Now to the last box for this for the black classic label set and it continues with integers, fractions, again some fractions, decimals, percents, chisholm trail and the last one that was the highest um, PHM code uh, is TR writer word processor. So basically uh, the very first uh, yeah. editor program uh, next to if you didn't use the um, editor assembler for that. Yeah, and it included many more features than editor assembler for text writing. Because editor assembler was basically mainly for programming. Okay, that was it. Um, the, the order you saw, the, all these boxes was based on the, the code name. So the very first one was PHM3000. And then whenever there was a cartridge released, it was increased by one. When there was some cartridge planned, but not released, the number was most of the time skipped. And uh, at the end of, um, as you can see, after TI Writer, I think the highest PHM number is uh, Burger Time, which is 3233. Uh, all the cartridges after TI Writer had only a modern label release. So that's why they are not in this set. Um, yeah, if you have any cartridge that is not shown on this video that has a label like that and was released in the US, please comment or give me a, an email. Um, I would be very interested to see that. But I assume so far that this is a complete set of all the uh, American cartridges yearning this black classic label. Thanks for watching. My name is Klaus and greetings from Vienna in Europe. Bye.